Good morning. Today's lesson is 3.6. Compare absolute values. Our essential question, how can you interpret comparisons involving absolute values? Let's unlock the problem. Activity. Carmen is taking a one-day scuba diving class. Completion of the class will allow her to explore the ocean at elevations that are less than 25 feet. Using the absolute value to describe the depth to which Carmen will be able to dive after taking the class. Graph the elevation of negative 25 feet on the number line. Let's do that. So negative 25 feet. Well, this is 20 and this is 30. So negative 25 feet is going to be right in between. So list three elevations less than negative 25 feet. Well, three elevations less than 25 feet, we could say negative 30, right? We could say negative 32. We could say negative 40. We could say negative 31. Anything below is going to be less than um, 30, 25 feet. Now, elevations less than negative 25 feet are found below negative 25 feet. Because the rep this depth represents a distance that is below sea level, it is never, ne never negative. So here we go. So the absolute value, remember the absolute value of negative 25 represents a depth of 25 feet. So write each depth elevation as a depth. So if we have negative 30, the absolute value of negative 30 is going to be 30. The absolute value of negative 35 is going to be 35. The absolute va value of negative 40 is going to be 40. So an elevation of less than the absolute value of negative 25 is going to be a depth that is greater than 25 feet. So Carmen will be able to dive to depths that are greater than 25 feet after taking the class. Compare negative 175 foot elevation and 175 foot depth. Explain your reasoning. Well, both have the same absolute value. So the diver at an elevation of 100, negative 175 feet is also at a depth of 175 feet. Another example. Cole has an online account for buying video games. His account balance has always been greater than negative $16. Use the absolute value to describe Cole's account balance as a debt. So graph an account balance of negative 16 on the number line. So here's my number line. There's negative 16. So I'm going to graph it. List three account balances that are greater than negative 16. Well, you could say negative 15, negative 14, right? Because we're going to go this way. Negative 8, 4. You could graph many, many, many numbers, but they all have to be to the right. So the balance, balances greater than negative 16 are found to the right of negative 16. Okay, step three says, express an account balance of negative 16 as a debt. In this situation, the absolute value of negative 16 represents a debt of 16. So remember, it's 16 spaces away from the zero. Complete the table. The absolute value of negative 15 as a debt is going to be 15. The absolute value of negative 14 is going to be 14. If the debt is 13, then it was negative 13. Each debt in the table is blank than 13. So the answer to that is less than thir or less than 16, excuse me. Cole's account balance is always greater than negative 16, so his debt on the account is always less than 16. Explain Explain how you can describe the debt as an absolute value. Well, a debt can be described as an absolute value of a negative account balance. Describe, describe, list three numbers greater than negative 28 and describe how you determine your answer. Well, here's three numbers. We have 30, 32, 35. Negative 28 is 28 units from zero. So the absolute value of 28 is going to be 28. Numbers greater than 28 are going to be greater than the absolute value of 28. Okay, I just want to do a couple problems to make sure you don't get tricked. For example, number four, when you're comparing, you're looking at negative eight compared to the absolute value of eight, negative eight. 
Remember the absolute value of negative eight is eight. So you're comparing negative eight to eight, which means eight is gonna be greater. So let's look at the next one. We have, the, we have 13 compared to the absolute value of 13. And the absolute value of 13 is 13. So in this case, it's going to be equal. I just want you to be careful what you're comparing. These are absolute values compared to absolute values. And if you've got a value that is, um, for example, on this one, let me move this up. On this one, you're comparing um, a positive value to an absolute value. So again, this is 15, but this is the absolute value because you have the absolute value signs here, right? So negative 14, the absolute value is actually 14. It's not negative 14. So just be careful and watch. On these, you're comparing two absolute values, right? So you can work together, alone, small group, partner, or if you need me, I am available for you. Good luck.